Hey everybody, welcome to video 2 here. Um, okay, so in the last video I showed you how to download the ISOs and get uh, Sardu here to recognize them. So now you have to decide, do you want to make an ISO or do you want to make a bootable USB? Now this depends on the computer that you're going to be working on because some computers um, they can't boot from a USB and in that case, I mean there is some programs you can use to get it to boot from the USB, but to me it would be easier then just to, uh, uh oh, I accidentally clicked, uh, clicked the button. Um, hold on here. I'm going to end this task real quick. I accidentally clicked the button to make a USB. Um, there we go. Okay, so um, it all depends on the computer that you're using. If your uh, computer can boot from a USB, that's great. It's much faster. Uh, if not, you're going to make an ISO. So, to show you on this virtual machine, I'm going to make an ISO. Because um, I'm sure I could boot from a USB, but it's just easier to boot from an ISO. So, it's easy. You know your ISO is going to take 1.86 gigabytes. That, of course, depends on which ones you pick here which utilities, you know, the more you install, the more space it takes. Now, if you were going to burn this ISO to, uh, you'd have to burn it to a DVD, just because of the space. So we're going to make an ISO, and it's real simple. You click Make an ISO, and then you can just watch it as it uh, extracts the files. Now, all of these original ISO CDs would add up to multiple gigabytes of data, uh, 2.01. So what it does is it extracts the parts that it needs to from the ISOs, including you know its own system operating uh, system, and packs it together into one uh, usable, burnable ISO. So what I'm going to do right now, while this is making the ISO, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be back to show you uh, what it's like when it's done. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so it uh, finished making the ISO. As you can see, when it succeeds on making um, it's actually making it right now, sorry. But I'll show you what it uh, shows you like. When, when it succeeds on creating that part of the ISO, it goes green like this. If it doesn't, or if you didn't pick it, it goes red. As you can see, we didn't install some of these, and they're red because there's no check mark by them. As you can see, I didn't install anything from Linux. And as you can see right now, it's put, it put uh, Ultimate Boot CD together. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to finish making the ISO. And that's why my mouse is kind of jumpy. As you can see, the computer's slower because the uh, the CPU's really working hard here. Um, I'll show you where it puts it here when it's all done. So, when it's all done, I uh, will be back. So, see you in a second here. Okay, so when the ISO has been finished and completed, it says that the ISO has been successfully created. So now we can exit. And right here in the ISO created, you will find the actual ISO. Simple, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I can drag this out of here. And um, see if I can boot up here from the ISO. So give me one second here and I shall be right back. Okay so now normally on your computer uh, you'd be using whatever program you use to burn CDs to burn uh, this ISO onto a DVD and then uh, you'd boot up from it. But what I have to do here because I'm a virtual machine here I have to change a couple settings here and um, CD there we go and I'm gonna use the, uh, the ISO here from my computer, my host machine here, and I'm going to boot up from it. Okay, so I am, uh, you have to change your boot up sequence. So what I would do is um, I'm going to power off the virtual machine. Normally you would, you know, restart your computer and then you would hit delete or F2 or whatever the command is to uh, get you into the BIOS. Uh, on the virtual machine I just tell it to go into BIOS. You know, it's a little different. So it's going to go into BIOS here 
and uh, I'm going to scroll over to boot and um, I have to change uh, the boot sequence. Normally it goes here from the removable drive, so it goes from a floppy to a hard drive to CD. I have to change these so they don't, so the CD boots first. Um, let's see, if I go plus, or no minus, sorry. There you go, that pushes the CD above the hard drive. And then if I hit uh, F10, and now it should be able to, now it should boot based on the ISO image. Maybe. Okay, that didn't work right. Hold on here. Maybe it didn't pick the... Uh, Okay, so give me one second here. Okay, so now I finally figured out uh, what I was doing wrong here. And, uh, okay, if I can get this thing to work right. There we go. Okay, so when you restart your computer with the ISO or uh, the USB, you're greeted with this screen. You have antivirus, utility menu, uh, Windows Live or you can even boot to do a memory test. And we're going to go to the antivirus just so I can show you. And then you get to pick. Uh, you get to pick a Vera, a Bitdefender, you know, whatever you installed. All right. So as you can see, you can definitely boot from that. So um, you can boot directly from your hard drive if you want to skip that. As you can see, I'll be able to boot straight into Windows. So what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to start another video now and I'm going to uh, grab some URLs and uh, I'll be back after I infect the machine. Or uh, I'll be back after I get the URLs and then we'll infect the machine. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I got um, some uh, URLs here and uh, what we're going to do is um, I can get rid of this file. Um, I am going to infect the system. Now I'm not going to use a ton of them because you know you kind of get the idea of how it'll work. Um, but I'll show you how uh, how it works at removing. Now there's no um, antivirus on here or anything, so these should uh, definitely do their job. Then after I infect them, I'm gonna after I infect the system, I'm gonna start a new um, new video. Okay, so as you can see, this system is uh, infected. I infected it with a good number of files. Let's see if we get any redirects or anything. Okay, so free antivirus. No, oh, okay. But. Um, okay, that was weird. Um, let's see what we got running here. Let's see if we can see anything real nasty. Okay, so you see we got one thing there, and I'm sure there's some other stuff that uh, made their way into the system. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video, start a new video, and uh, we'll go from there. See you in video three.